if you wanted to talk about the hormonal aspects of cancer, there are a great number of cancer cells that are sensitive to estradiol or your estrogens. When I say sensitive to, I say sugar is your primary food, your fertilizer is your estrogen. Okay. We are inundated with estradiol now to the point where over the last 10 years they've measured human testosterone or male testosterone levels have dropped 1% per year over the last 10 years. Now that's considerable. I've been pra I practiced for over 30 years and I would say it's probably been happening for close to that 30 year period of time. I've seen testosterone levels dropping, dropping, dropping. And the reason I've paid attention to it is because I've seen such a close relationship between hormonal imbalances and cancer. Women that become super estrogenic, in other words, have too much estrogen in your system, uh, these women will end up with fibroids, for example, or endometriosis. All of these diseases are estradiol related, too much. Later on, those fibroids can very easily turn into ovarian cancer. The endometriosis can very easily become cervical cancer. So it's this weakening of the immune system by these hormone imbalances that largely induce a great deal of cancer. Now there's a great deal of research that shows actually low testosterone levels in the prostate gland and high estrogen levels cause prostate cancer. So hormonally, uh, we're going down the wrong path as well, which is why cancer is going up so high. Mm -hmm. uh, between the sugar and hormones, we're, it's a double whammy that's very difficult for the body mm -hmm. to tolerate.